and welcome to Bloke on the Range. For today's episode we're going to be bloke explaining the difference between the Bang type gas system and the uh, German Gewehr 41 type gas system. Now it's often said that the G41 has a Bang type gas system because it has a sleeve type gas trap. Now actually beyond the sleeve there's no similarity between them at all. In a slight moment today I went through the patent databases and had a look at the earliest example of each type of gas system that I could find. And I found the Bang type gas system with a date of 1901 on it, and I found the G41 type gas system in a document filed in several European countries in 1912 by the Steyr factory. Now let's bring the camera in closer and have a look at how they differ. Now let's look first at the Bang type system. I've done this very, very schematically, and uh, in white we have the barrel and we have the breech block. And in yellow, we have the uh, sliding sleeve over the muzzle. Now there's a cavity in the sleeve that catches gas when the bullet goes that way out of it. And this sleeve is a sliding sleeve in the bang type system. So what happens is the bullet leaves, the, the uh, muzzle gas pushes against the front of the sleeve, brings it forward. Now there's a connecting rod that runs back under the stock, uh, that is also pulled forward. There's an, a lever pivoted on the action which converts the uh, forward movement of the operating rod into a rearward kick onto the breech block which then goes backwards. Ching! Now let's have a look at the Steyr system and if you look at the patent document you'll see that it's extremely similar to the G41. Uh, the, the devil is in the details and they're extremely minor. Now what we have here is we have a muzzle sleeve that is threaded onto the muzzle. Now through this thread there's several gas ports, two or four gas ports, uh, which lead to essentially a cavity formed between the fixed sleeve and the barrel in which there's a very pretty pink annular piston. Now what happens here is bullet leaves that way, muzzle gas is caught by the gas trap, travels through the ports into the cavity behind the thread, pushes the annular piston backwards, which pushes this green op rod backwards and kicks the breech block backwards. So to recap, in the bang system, the sleeve that forms the gas trap at the muzzle uh, is sliding and goes forwards. This motion is turned into a rearwards movement by a lever back here. And on the style system used on the G41, the sleeve is fixed and uh, forms a cavity in which the annular piston runs around the barrel, pushing it backwards, pushing directly the carrier backwards. So now you know. I should also note that I haven't found a single patent document from Bang illustrating an annular piston. He does have a gas trap pattern, but that's a bit more like the uh, early M1 Garand type gas traps. Join us again sometime for some more technical shorts on Bloke on the Range. Bye!